Hey Gem Car Loaders, I'm going to take you through the programming of a current calibration on a BMS 24. There's three uh, settings that we need to calibrate and that would be zero amp draw. The number two would be for a positive amp input and the number three would be for a negative draw or output. So we first start by going into the menu which is you hold the uh, next key for three seconds and we're going to toggle down to the um, current calibration and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to enter the program mode here of um, and you can do that by just getting it into the flash mode and what I'm going to program is zero current so I'm going to turn the main switch off and on this 2013 there's my main switch so I'm going to throw that and on some older gems it might be the battery switch in the back so we'll turn that off the car is now getting zero draw from the uh, DC to DC converter and I do happen to have a stereo in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to toggle that to zero. Uh, zero amps and we'll hit set. And now we're going to program the uh, current draw. And what I'm going to do is going to turn the main switch back on again. So go back down here to this, toggle that on. And uh, that what we're going to do is uh, go out here to the battery charger. And we're going to plug the battery charger in and then I'm going to double check to make sure that the battery charger is in full charge mode, which should be around 12 amps. And that will, I can look at that by seeing that um, it's toggling down to the heaviest charge setting, which is the number six on the very bottom of it. So the car should be giving me about 11 or 12 amps. I happen to have an amp clamp hooked up to the positive input of the battery and we should be able to confirm that right about here. So right now it's saying two amps, which isn't, I think accurate. Maybe we have some interference. So let's take the amp clamp off here and uh, zero it out. And then uh, I'm gonna toggle it right here on the uh, main input. So there we go, that's more like it. That's showing me 11.7 amps input. So I'm gonna go back to my BMS here and you can see now I go to the next mode which would hold this flash and I'm gonna put 12 amps because that's close enough to 11.7. Um, okay, so that's yes. And now we have to program a negative draw. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to turn off the main switch again. So there's going to be zero current coming back to the um, uh, to the uh, charger. I'm just trying to set my phone so that you can kind of see what I'm working with here. Now this is the current sense for the... Uh, for the um, amp meter and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch or flip these um, current sense leads and um, what that's going to do is that's going to show me a negative current instead of a positive current. So just bear with me for a moment here. Okay. This will allow me to show me that same you know, 11.7 amp input, it's going to show it as an output now. And um, that will allow me to calibrate in a um, more controlled, because if I was to try and drive the car and put a, um, a current draw on it, it's going to fluctuate as you go up and down the hill. And it's going to be... So I'm going to go back to the BMS here, turn the main switch on again, and now I should be showing... Um, I'm just waiting for the battery charger to cycle into full tilt boogie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to the battery charger and make sure it's in that lowest, which it is. I can see the, the light on the very bottom. So that again was 11.7 amps. So we'll go back here to our, uh, our battery charger, or sorry, our BMS. And we're going to program negative 12 amps.
Okay, there we go. So then um, now we're getting a, a simulated negative amp um, into the uh, battery system. And then we'll just hold the uh, next button for three seconds and we'll exit out. And now our, um, our uh, calibration is, is complete. And you can see that right here it's saying we're having a, a negative draw. When I flip those leads that I showed you on the, uh, the shunt, this will change from a negative to a positive. So that pretty much confirms that we've calibrated the battery monitor in all three modes. Okay, thank you.